here are some examples where we simplify um, an expression that has negative exponents. So the hint to these problems is to factor out the smaller exponent. So if we look at this expression in the red, x to the negative 2 plus 5x to the negative 4. The smaller exponent is x to the negative 4th power. Because remember, x to the negative 2 is the same thing as 1 over x squared. And x to the negative 4 is the same thing as 1 over x to the 4th. So the smaller term is actually this one here. So we're going to factor out x to the negative 4th power. So we're going to factor out x to the negative fourth from this red expression. When you do that, you take and subtract. Undoing it will make it to be adding. So you have to kind of think opposite here. So we have x to the negative 2. And now we're going to remove that x to the negative fourth. So we're going to add a 4 to it. And then plus... 5x to the negative 4, and now we're going to add a 4 to it. Now let's simplify those exponents. So we still have that blue x to the, x to the negative 4, and now let's simplify this exponent. Negative 2 plus 4 is 2, so we have x squared, plus 5x. And then negative 4 plus 4 is 0. Now remember, anything raised to the 0 power is 1. So what does this become? A 1. So we're left with x to the negative 4th. And then in the parentheses is x squared plus 5 times 1, which is just 5. Now to simplify it finally is we want to change that x to the negative fourth to the denominator. Remember, every time we have a negative exponent, we can throw that in the denominator. So we have in the numerator x squared plus 5 over x to the positive 4. Remember, this can go down below. Here's a similar example. The only difference now is we have fractional exponents. So we want to figure out which one is the smaller fractional exponent. So then we have negative 5 halves, which is negative 2.5. We have negative 3 halves, which is negative 1.5. Which one of those is the smaller one? It's this term here. So what we're going to remove out is x to the negative 5 halves power. That's the common factor. So we have x to the negative 5 halves is removed out from this red expression. So we say 3x to the negative 5 halves. I have to think opposite. We're taking out a negative 5 halves. So we're going to add 5 halves. And then we have plus 2x to the negative 3 halves. Now we think opposite. Add 5 halves. Now let's do some simplifying. Out in front is still that green x to the negative 5 halves. Now in the parentheses, let's simplify those fractions. Negative 5 halves plus 5 halves is just 0. So it's 3x to the 0 plus 2x. And then negative 3 halves plus 5 halves, negative 3 plus 5 is 2. And then over 2. Now again, we're going inside that parentheses and simplifying some more. x to the 0 power is 1. 2 over 2 is 1. So now we have x to the negative 5 halves. Then in the parentheses, 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 times x to the 1. Last step is to bring this front negative exponent down to the denominator. So we have 3 plus 2x over x to the positive 5 halves.
Last one of these, and these are kind of challenging. What is the common factor here in the smallest one? It is this whole thing right here. 1 minus 2x raised to the negative 3 halves. We're going to factor out from both terms 1 minus 2x raised to the negative 3 halves. So that's our common factor. So 1 minus 2x raised to the negative 3 halves. So essentially, we are removing this piece. So what are we left with? We're left with, in that piece, just the x. Over here, 1 plus, we're going to remove this piece, but remember, we have negative 3 halves that we're taking out. Negative 3 halves, and we think opposite, add 1 half. Oops, this should be negative one half and then add three halves. So this front is one minus two x to the negative three halves. We have x plus we can drop that one and then simplify this fraction of negative one-half plus three-halves is two over two. I'm just going to throw some parentheses in here. Let's go up to this blue two over two. Two over two is one. Extend the page here. Okay. This is x plus 1 minus 2x. I can combine these two together, x and 2x, to negative x plus 1. And now we still have that green. Remember what happens to this? This comes down below. 1 minus 2x raised to the positive 3 halves. 